Welcome back to iReview Official, where I review so you do not have to. Big, big, big name on this review, Lamb. Um, it's a new horror movie that just came to Amazon for $20. You can rent it for $20 and watch it right now. Um, I would even store it under psychological horror but they do rate it R and they only put it under the horror genre it um stars Numi Rapace who um very talented actress I think she does a great job in I mean just about all of her films she starred in 2017's Alien in 2017's Bright, which came out on Netflix, if you guys didn't see that. Man, that's a great movie. A lot of people are waiting for Bright, too. But, continuing onward, like I said, $20 to rent the movie. Um, you know, pretty steep. I don't think I've ever really seen a movie that costs $20 just to rent. Uh, so that's why you come here, right? You come here and you find out, hey, should I spend my money to watch this movie? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to inform you. I'm going to give you my uh, opinion again. Uh, so it's about a couple in Ireland, or sorry, Iceland. Um, they're farmers and a newborn lamb slash sheep is born. And they decide to keep it, but they feel like there's something else going on with it. Things like that. So the opening scene actually takes place on Christmas. Which I enjoy because evil being born on Christmas. You know, what's better than that? <laughs> okay. Um, but the opening scene, very mysterious. Almost disorienting. And interesting. So I very much enjoyed it. I liked it. It kept you asking questions. And as uh, my review goes forward, man, you will learn that the entire film fills you with questions and just glues you to the screen no matter how bad you want to not watch. Um, so the film, th this might be a tipping point for some people. The film is spoken in a northern German language, so subtitles are the entire way through the movie, but it's not overwhelming. They did a great, great job with making sure that the dialogue that they put in the, into the film isn't overwhelming, so that way you can still experience and actually see and, you know, live in the scene. I man, great job doing it. I don't know who choreographed that, who wrote the lines. I don't know who it's directed by. It's directed by a name that I cannot pronounce. You can Google it if you want, but man, great job to not overwhelm the audience with dialogue because it is shot in a Northern German um, dialogue. So you're gonna have subtitles throughout the whole film. But when I tell you that's not a problem at all, I mean that's not a problem at all. Because it does not take away from the film. It does a great job of mediating um, how much you have to read between the the setting and, and the way it's shot. It, great job. Fabulous job. Because I was worried about it in the beginning. Um, and to be honest, I was quite bored in the beginning. I was worried that this was going to be a very negative review. So, little Easter egg there. It's not going to be a negative review. Um, but I was worried in the beginning. Because the plot started off pretty slow. It started off slow at first. Some shots were like very unnecessary. Like if you ask me, some shots were just unnecessary. And it bothered me. It annoyed me. It made me feel like not even wanting to keep watching. But then next thing I know, I started noticing how the plot was working. And the plot almost works like a like a puzzle. 
like a backwards puzzle. It's very crazy. It's very crazy. I think they did a great job doing that as well. Because um, even though I was skeptical, they still kept me invested. And I use that word a lot because it's very important to keep your, um, you know, audience invested in your film. But to keep your audience invested and at the same time almost work backward plot wise while also seeming like a puzzle is mind boggling. It's crazy, man. It's a great film. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it very much. But it is very mind-boggling a lot of times. You're thinking, what the fuck is going on? Uh, and, I mean, that's only the first 30 minutes of the movie. Uh, I believe the movie is a little under two hours. So, I mean, first 20 minutes of the movie is just still a mystery and puzzle. Feeling, like, mysterious, mind-boggling. And then... Uh, you get these moments that's like, whoa, what the, what the heck? You know what I mean? And I think that's awesome. I think they, they knocked it out of the park there. Um, so the way it's shot at first, I thought it was lacking. Like I said, I had to rewatch certain parts because it didn't make sense to me why they would shoot certain, um, certain parts the way they shot it because they wouldn't really give. It felt like they weren't giving the audience enough context clues. Well, guess what? You get them later. That's what I mean by the plot working backwards. And that's like a puzzle piece. And it's crazy, man. Because I thought some scenes were so pointless. And then they end up being important. So, shame on me. But, um... That's kind of what they go for. And then next thing you know, you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's crazy, man. So many wow factors in this movie. I could count four. I could I could say four right off the bat. But, I mean, they'd be spoilers. And as we know, that's not what the channel's about. But, yeah, you're going to get wow factors. You're going to get to be able to put the puzzle pieces together yourself, which is huge. Because they give you the pieces, but you have to put them together with a little bit help um, from the plot. At first, like I said, it might be like confusing. Like, oh man, what's the point of that scene and things like that. But, oh goodness, do they really put it together and do a really good job doing it. So, I mean, all in all, this movie is crazy, man. Um, now, do I think it's worth $20? To rent. This is a million dollar question, right? Well, I guess this is the twenty dollar question. I don't obviously think it's worth twenty dollars to rent. Uh is it a good movie? Yes, it is a good movie. I enjoyed it, and man does it mess with your mind and confuses you, disorients you, disorients you, but then it like separates you only to put you back together. And I said in my last video that it would be, I, I had a feeling it would be unlike any other thing I'd seen this year. And man, it is. It's crazy. I recommend this movie 100%. You To the point where I almost want to say you have to watch it. But of course you don't have to watch it. Um... But yeah, man, this movie has a lot of what the fuck moments and craziness. It's it's cra it's crazy. What can what else can I say? I mean, good movie, man. Uh, as far as the ending though, and you know, if you've watched my previous videos, I'm a very big ending person. What I mean by that is if the ending is bad. It's not going to look good, in my opinion. It's not good for the entire movie as a whole. The ending... Just like some other movies like to do... I feel like if I went to the theaters and saw this movie and I left... I would feel cheated. And empty and confused. 
they could have definitely done a much better ending. I mean, there are parts of the ending that are, you know, they help the puzzle pieces and the puzzle as a whole. But the actual ending itself, man, is it lacking. It's very unfortunate that it seems like the beginning just loses your interest until you have to invest 20 minutes. And then the ending you're also it is also lacking so um and you're left asking questions nobody wants to be asking questions at the end of a film they want to know exactly what they watched they want to know exactly what the resolution is and they want to know exactly what the point of the plot is i mean it's a good film don't get me wrong i definitely enjoyed it I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it too. Is it worth $20 to rent? Absolutely not. Wait for it to go down. Um, which is no problem because we all know it'll go down. It's a brand new movie. It's out on Amazon if you do want to rent it for $20. Um, I, I mean, I, I would say do it. Second of all, you know, it is lacking some things, you know. Like I just said a few seconds ago, it's not very fulfilling. So, I mean, man, I'm just going to have to give this 3 out of 10 or 3 out of 5 stars. And uh, that's that, really. I mean, could have done better in certain places, but that's all right. It's still a good movie, and I do suggest watching it. But stay tuned, and then... Don't forget to hit the bell notification, the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, come back and definitely leave a comment uh, of what you thought about this movie because it's crazy.